Hello and welcome to Cecil on Film. Uh, today I am, well, am I two days late? It's, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. So like any normal person, I'm wide awake. Um, and uh, yesterday the uh, trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife or Ghostbusters 3 came out. And I want to do a reaction video to it. I know I'm a little late. I didn't even realize what was going on here with this shit. I wrote a perfect script for um, a drunken live stream once. Um, I could probably look it up by saying Ghostbusters script. But uh, I wrote a perfect script for Ghostbusters 3. Wasted out of my mind. It's where um, the, uh, the original Ghostbusters uh, put all their money into a movie that bombed. And then they had to go become... Ghostbusters again instead of being retired and the movie that they invested in was the one from 2016 and so they could you could work that into that so that's just a movie in their world anyway that's neither here nor there it ends with I think Sloth from the Goonies killing everybody I was fucking wasted um anyway this is what we want to talk about Ghostbusters Afterlife let's take a look at what's going on that's an El Camino I where there the Grand Canyon it looks like What are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? Honestly, my Oh, there's the kid from um, Stranger. He's getting tall. Look at the size of him. He's getting big, right? They gotta hurry up and get those kids out of uh, grammar school. My mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. Who's this actress? I, I don't recognize her. Any other thing that's left in our name? Who's that? What's in our name? Okay, so brother, sister, mom. Is this Egon's kid? Because she's got the glasses. Is that what's going on here? This is creepy. This looks like the house from fucking um, Jeepers Creepers. Get the fuck out of there. What are you, nuts? Farmhouse, my grandfather. Oh, look at the barn caved in over here. The roof. That's a fixer-upper. Left us in the middle of nowhere. Why'd you bring me up here? <laughs> you know what I realized? I didn't under, I didn't listen to a thing the kid was saying. I was just had my stupid observations. This is creepy. They're broke. That's what I heard. My mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. And the only thing that's left in our name. This is creepy old farmhouse. My grandfather left us in the mid. Wait, so are they from the city? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm sorry. It's gonna take fucking forever. Honestly. My mom won't say it, but we're completely broke. All right, they're broke. All right, so is this the city? Looks a little too green, but maybe. I see a bike with the st with the frame, everything stripped off of it over here. That's probably the. All right, so maybe they're in Manhattan or, or one of the boroughs. They're probably coming from Brooklyn. That's the hot spot to. Uh... All right, so they're from Brooklyn. They can't afford it. Who can? And uh, they're going. I didn't get any other thing that's left in our name. This is creepy old farmhouse. Our grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere. All right, the grandfather, the fucking grandfather, uh, is uh, is Egon. That makes more sense. This is the Egon glasses, right? She's gonna be like the little brain. I don't know. Why'd you bring me up here? So they left Brooklyn. They were, where where is Somerville? It looks that has to be the Grand Canyon, right? I don't know. Entertainment value. <laughs> All right, he's got a girlfriend already. This kid moves quick. What is that? I don't know. All right, so the teenagers are hanging out by a, a mine. Somehow, who's Braun? I don't know what that means. LeBron? Now, a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no... That's uh, Paul Rudd. Who the fuck thought this guy uh, in his 50s would be a leading man? Now he is. I mean, remember him in Clueless? What has uh, Alicia Silverstone been up to? Nothing. This guy's thriving. He hit his, he hit his 40s and he hit his stride. I mean, he's always been a, a, you know in movies and a star, but... He's a legit movie star. He's the leading man now. Ant-Man, Ant-Man 2. I'm sure he's going to... He's a good actor. I like seeing him and stuff. So uh, that's good. I, I could see him as one of the Ghostbusters. He's funny. He could be serious. 
Loud music, music even. Oh, look at this. They got fucking munchkins. That's wonderful. I, I'm fucking starving. I've been doing like a fast. Christ, it sucks. Now I gotta look at fucking munchkins. I hope this movie's not about munchkins. It's shaking on a daily basis. All right. Or, um, I wasn't even listening. I got caught up in the munchkins. What's happened is earthquakes. Oh, it's the, it's the fucking ghosts. I saw the mine shaft. It was green. Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? That was funny. See, I knew she was going to be smart. She's solving a puzzle. I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Oh, right. You wouldn't know what the f Your fucking grandfather is a ghostbuster and you don't know what a ghost trap is? Come on now. What is this, like, uh... The fucking... Uh, this now reminds me of The Force Awakens, where she doesn't believe in the Force, even though it was, it was a, but it's not big news that they blew up a Death Star. How would you not know what that is if your grandfather is Egon? They're Egon, right? That's his name. Well, who's Har Harold Ramis? That was Egon, right? Anyway, um, every kid in the fucking, first of all, the world changed, okay, on that day. When, when was the first, um, Ghostbusters, 84. In 1984, the entire fucking history of this earth that they inhabit, it changed. Oh, because there was photographic evidence of a ghost fucking attack on top of a building and a fucking hundred foot tall, uh, or even bigger, the thing was fucking as tall as the building. It had to be a thousand feet tall or big. There's a fucking marshmallow man walked across fucking Manhattan. Okay, so this world... People are willing to believe shit. If they're going to have a hard time and not believe in ghosts, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Every kid, it would be taught in every school. The world would have, the history would have started in 1984 in that world of New York. And why aren't they in fucking New York? Who wants to watch fucking ghosts flying around in the fucking sticks? Anyway, the entire world would be different from that point. Okay, okay it's not the same. Every kid would know what a ghost trap is. They also fucking... Had, had the goddamn Statue of Liberty walk through fucking New York. You wouldn't have kept in touch with your grandfather, who was the fucking, at the center point of the changing of all history, basically. Because this is the point when we realize supernatural and fucking insanity is real. Everything else goes out the fucking window. I don't know what a ghost trap is. I'm sorry for being hard on you, kid. Boy. A ghost trap? There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like the world. Oh, right. They wouldn't have been... They, he's teaching them. I guess he's their teacher. Oh, you don't know about New York? There would be the only thing worth watching is the footage from when the fucking Statue of Liberty walked around New York. Everything else would be a fucking pal. These kids are being shown this for the first time? No, it would be like, hey, this is how it was before the Ghostbusters. You would be very close to your grandfather if he was fucking one of the Ghostbusters. He'd be one of the most famous people in the history of mankind. He fucking drove the fucking Statue of Liberty. Walking Dead. Your dad never mentioned this to you? Never mentioned it. How the fuck do you never... In What in the world would be a more important story in this kid's life than your dad or your grandfather's one of the fucking Ghostbusters? Oh, you mean those guys who who rode the Statue of Liberty around New York and fought a fucking Godzilla-sized uh, marshmallow? Come on now. It's just my mom. Oh, so she's gonna find his lab like Batman. My grandfather died. What's this? Okay, so it looks like samples. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. They got a ghost pack. Yeah, no shit. Who are you? Oh, Spengler. Okay. So they had their fucking, the ghost suits. They got all the ghost shit. Give me a fucking break. How do you not know who the Ghostbusters are? Even if your grandfather was, you didn't know that your grandfather was one. 
sorry for getting upset. I'm getting upset. Call it fake. Shandor Mining. Um, that sounds like something in my head. I don't know. Call it block. It looks a lot like Stranger Things. I maybe because the Stranger Kids, uh, Stranger Things kid is in it, but not a lot of laughs. I'm fucking angry. Call it karma. If that's the goddamn car rusting away, it would be in a museum. It would be in the Smithsonian. These guys fucking rode the Statue of Liberty like a robot around Manhattan. You don't think people would take an interest in who they were? Your mother wouldn't be broke. They'd be the richest people in the world. Your family would be the richest people in the fucking world. You saved Manhattan twice. Oh, we're fucking being evicted, and I don't know who my grandfather is. What planet is this? What, what world would a guy who fucking fought a Godzilla marshmallow man wouldn't be famous? For Christ's sakes, the subway fucking spokesman who fucking raped kids is famous. You don't know e fucking who Egon is. Everything happens for a reason. Wait, who was that? Was that fucking John Malkovich or somebody? Is that who it was? Who is that? Is that... No, that's not John Malkovich. Is it John Malkovich? No, John Malkovich is older than this guy. Maybe... Um, um, no, not John Malkovich. I'm thinking John Lithgow. But either way, it's not. It's neither of those two. Looks more like Lithgow, but it's not him. Who the fuck is that? I'm All right, well, we got a monster. Hold on. We got a fucking monster. This is cool. It's like a pit of fire. Paul Rudd's getting attacked by... Is that the fucking dog? Gozer. Gozer's in this. Like, Yeah, that's the fucking dog. Um, Zool, right? Come on, darling. Oh, bullshit! It's the fucking Ecto-1 and it starts. They pulled the same horse shit in Jurassic Park. They find the fucking same Jeep from Jurassic... Oh my, I'm barely in this video. Sorry, I'm, I didn't even look at my face the whole time. I'm, you're not missing much. I'm fucking gross. Okay, so the kid starts the fucking thing that's been in there since the 80s. The same thing happened in Jura Jurassic Park with the fucking Jeeps. Let me tell you what happens to alcohol... Uh, to fucking that alcohol. Gee, I'm, 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 I need a drink. Uh, to, to gasoline. It gets denatured, okay? It, 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 it's, it's fucking... It's, Useless. It doesn't burn after fucking 30 years. Uh, tires go flat and batteries go dead. The Jurassic car fucking thing would have been shit. This car would be shit. Also, the rubber would harden on, on, the, on the hoses. It would not work. I hate that the fucking you know, cars that are in storage for 30 years, they have all their fucking... I get fucking stuck in New York with a fucking... I'm, like, I'm cursing so much. What's wrong with me? I'm starving because I'm on this fast. I gotta breathe. Um, cars in New York every winter, the battery goes dead. You know, if it's, if it's a little bit older. Okay? It looks like, you know, that might be a place that gets cold during the winter. Their battery would be dead. Okay? The tires would be flat. The gasoline would not work. That is all. It has a gunner seat? I don't remember a gunner seat, but that's cool. Are they going after a Slimer? Huh. Okay, right, man. Okay, that's, that's cool. I'm wondering, though, um... It doesn't feel like Ghostbusters, but I kind of like it. I think it's going to be a little more zany. Also, I missed something. Somebody was talking. That everything happens. Call it con. Call it block. Okay, that's Bill Murray, right? Call it block. Call it con. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Okay, so Bill, so obviously there's a fucking something going on in that mine. 
they're going to have to call the other Ghostbusters and help. Hopefully this shit ends up in New York. You know, it was really cool. In, in New York, they built that building that was supposed to call in uh, Gozer. And uh, that, that, that was fucking cool. Gozer was hot. I, I don't know. I, did you, I love that chick. I like the short hair. She reminded me of Trash from uh, Return of the Living Dead. So I got a thing for her. So Gozer could get it as far as I'm concerned. She's probably a thousand years old now, but uh, uh, why not? Um, either way, it looks good. I kind of like that. They're not going zany like uh, the, the, the 2016. So they're going to do a little bit of Stranger Things. So I guess the, these, this plot with the kids and Paul Rudd is going to be more of like build the suspense. And then the comedy will come in when the comedians show up, which, uh, well, Paul Rudd's got some comic chops. Uh, but when Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and, uh, oh, God, why can't I, why can't I think, Ernie Hudson and, uh, well, Harold Ramis is dead. We never got to see Harold Ramis because Bill Murray dragged his uh, feet on this shit. He, he said no for so many years. Thanks, Bill. Anyway, I love Bill, but uh, I wish he, you know, he would have fucking uh, said yes a little sooner. Either way, um, and I believe Ivan Reitman said, yeah, Jason Reitman's his son doing it. So anyway, I'm actually looking forward to this. This, 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 is, a, this is a teaser trailer. So uh, and this is a legit teaser trailer because I do want to see more. They did not give the fucking story away, which is great. They didn't hit you over the head with a thousand jokes. They had one joke. Remember when we died onto this table or some shit like that? It was cute. Um all right, this is a good tease because I do want to see more. I want to, you know, they barely showed, they, they only showed flashbacks or, or video of, of the, but how do you not know your grandfather is one of the guys who drove around the Statue of Liberty or, or, be, or killed a marshmallow man, saved New York? Uh, why are you getting evicted? New York would give your whole family free rent forever. Call fucking Michael Bloomberg. He's a fucking billionaire. And he was the mayor. He, he would, anyway. It looks good. That's my final thing. Uh, thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button first, then subscribe. Then uh, copy the link and then do a mass email to all of your entire uh, contact list and have them watch this because that would help. I uh, appreciate that and uh, I will see you uh, again soon. Bye.